Toronto City Council has deferred the vote on legalizing rooming houses in the city. While some councillors say more information and planning is needed, others say if urgent leadership isn't taken on the issue, people will continue to be left in unsafe conditions. Rooming houses create lots of issues. Um, the suburbs are pretty much opposed to them. Multi-tenant houses make up a part of Toronto's rental housing market. However, they aren't allowed in some areas of the city due to fragmented zoning and licensing bylaws that haven't been updated since amalgamation in 1998. Despite this, people continue to operate unlicensed rooming houses to meet demand. Deputy Mayor of the North Area of the City, Denzel Minnan-Wong, isn't in favour of legalizing all of them at this time. These rooming houses are owned by absentee owners and what we find is absentee owners don't care about you know, the, the neighborhoods they live in. They buy these homes just to make money. They don't take care of them. They don't live in them. Councillor Josh Matlow says it doesn't matter if you support them or not because they exist. The reality is they're there and they're unsafe. They're unsafe for the people in those rooming houses, and yes, they're unsafe for the people living next door to those rooming houses. So today's vote was about moving forward to ensure the safety of our neighborhoods. And uh, council, uh, I think very cowardly, decided to uh, just turf it off for months and months because it's a hot potato and we're going up into an election year. The vote was deferred in Council's July meeting as well. The deferred proposal states rooming houses would be limited to six dwelling rooms in most neighbourhoods. Landlords would have to be licensed as well. There would also be parking and washroom requirements based on how many rooms there are. Min and Wong worries there isn't enough enforcement to keep track of current legal rooming houses, let alone adding more. The property standards can't do anything about it. We've seen it. The response times are more horrible. They can't you know, do proper investigations. Matlow argues safety can't be worked on until all rooming houses are legalized. You can't regulate something that is illegal. In other words, it doesn't legally exist. So they have to be legalized only so that then they can be regulated, inspected and ensured that they will be kept safe. City Council voted 17 to 8 to defer the motion until at least next year. They requested staff to work on some of the bigger concerns, including more public consultation and an enhanced enforcement safety plan. For City News, I'm Maliha Sheikh.